Hey guys! In this video, we will learn how to create digital skin by four different methods. You can add digital skin when you think texture of an image is not clearly seen. You can also add digital skin when you have used a fast retouch. With good settings, it can make the skin look less plastic. I've prepared four areas with subtle texture for you. Let's review each of them on the example. Manual method of creating digital skin. Its advantage is in various settings that can allow you to create any type of skin. The disadvantage of this method is it can take time to find the best option. This is not very convenient when you need to quickly add digital skin. The next method is simple, and this method can help you to do it quick. This method is mostly convenient because you just need to click a button to add digital skin, and if you want to enhance the effect, click the button again until you get a satisfactory result. The disadvantage of this method is you can control various parameters. Three levels pigment is something between manual and simple options. There are three levels of pigment inside a group, small, big and medium. This way you can manage digital skin overlapping more flexible. This way doesn't require any special settings, that's why we can call it fast method of creating digital skin. Pigment Pigment combines quickness and flexibility of settings. And this is the only method if you need to adjust the color of pigment to match your skin color and change its saturation and brightness. In a group, you can also find some various pigments that can be easily managed by opacity to change the intensity of each size. Now let's compare all pigments again. Pigment, three levels, simple, and manual. We have reviewed 
all type of digital skin. And now let's try and create each pigment on the example. Here we have a girl's face with subtle texture. Let's use a manual method. You can use six sliders to adjust digital skin. We will use four of them. Experiment with settings to get various results. Click Show Hide for a quick look at before and after. Also, a mask has been created automatically with digital skin. This is necessary so that noise can lay only on areas with skin. You can change this mask to another and choose the most suitable one for your image. But, in any case, all masks should be finalized manually with a black and white brush. Let's remove unnecessary. Our retouch is almost ready. Click a finish button and, and get a final result. Now let's review a simple method. By default, this method creates a new layer with digital noise and every click will create a new layer. We will use an alternative way. Duplicate the layer, hold Shift and click several times. The more times we click, the stronger the effect. Create a white mask and remove unnecessary using a white brush. Or maybe you have your own way to create a mask.
go to a fast retouch block and use a mask template to save the time. The second mask remove, remove the background, so we have already saved time using it. I want to note that we have a specific picture here. The girl's face fills almost the entire image. This means that masks will be more useful on other photos. I will show it soon. Now let's use the third method. Here, a black mask appears immediately, so you could reveal the effect in desired areas. We can change the effect strength by changing its opacity. If you reached 100% and you still think you are lack of some levels, just duplicate the layers and the effect will become stronger. Only one method with changing pigment colors, saturation and brightness is left. With this method, at first a document with a preview is created, where you can set all parameters. And when you finish, they will be duplicated to a main document. This is a hue slider. It can help you to find a better pigment for your tone. This is a saturation slider. You can enhance a saturation on your color with it. This slider will make your pigment brighter or darker. Now let's use the white brush on our mask to reveal the effect. We have reviewed all methods of creating digital skin. Use the one you consider the most appropriate for your case.
And now let's review one more way of using pigment alone with frequency separation. Here I've already created frequency separation with a 5 pixels radius. And I put pigment combined of two methods between frequencies. I made it so that pigment won't influence, influence the skin structure we already have in our picture. So I place our digital skin between texture and low frequency. Let's see what we've got. Use these methods and their combinations to enhance the skin you have and to create a new one. Don't forget that these methods can be used with fast retouch methods. See you in the next video.